Africa to the world is back. I have been in Singapore for five good days and I can confidently say that Rwanda is the new Singapore and I can't stop loving Singapore because it reminds me of my favorite country in Africa, Rwanda, Kigali. You all know that I was in Kigali and I did a lot of videos in Kigali. I was super impressed of how organized Kigali is. Any country that I go to, my first impression is what I use to do my videos. I don't do research. I know most of you are going to say, as a vlogger, do research. I don't do research going to any new country because first impression for my videos is very very important the first day I landed in this country my first step in this country I said no way this place look exactly like my favorite country in Africa you know why I'm gonna tell you why Rwanda is the new Singapore stay tuned I am Maya Someone might say it's so stupid to compare Singapore with Rwanda because Singapore is so beautiful and advanced. I am not here to compare the two countries, but I'm here to tell you similarities between the two countries because I have been in Singapore and I have been to where? Rwanda. So whatever I'm going to say, it's based on my personal experience in both countries. So I can confidently testify what I'm going to say today. First of all, do you know how organized Singapore is just like Rwanda? No, I don't think I need to do this video alone. Come, 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 come. You were in Rwanda? Yeah. You were in Rwanda? Yes, I was. You've been to Singapore? Yep. Do you think that both countries are organized? Very organized in a similar manner. They are very organized. Why do you say so? Because, for example, here in Singapore, buses don't just stop anywhere, just like Rwanda. Exactly. They stop in designated places. Exactly. Like, if you're three minutes from the stage, the bus driver won't stop for you. You have to get to the stage. Just like Rwanda. Exactly. I did a video like that in Rwanda, that buses in Rwanda don't stop anywhere. They have bus stations. Yeah. And do you know that people even obey the traffic light just like Rwanda? Just like Rwanda. If one person is standing behind the zebra crossing, the driver has to stop for the for them to pass. pass by, just like what? Rwanda. <laughs> Very similar. No, I think I need to say more. I think I need to say more. Talking of organization, this country is called the Green City. Just like Rwanda. Kigali is also what? A green city. And they plant trees everywhere in the country. What makes the country oh. look so beautiful? Oh my god. Oh. Place, similar thing, you guys. Just like what? Rwanda. Rwanda. <laughs> Trust me, even they are roads. It's exactly like Rwanda. Same design. Same design. Same look. No oh. potholes. Clean. No. Wow. Indeed. Rwanda is the new Singapore. Singapore. I will confirm it. I'm gonna use video to support whatever I'm saying. Without you, I remember myself, my name. Forgot about all you tried to change. Familiar was the sound of your voice as I. Singapore is super clean. Just like Rwanda. <laughs> Trust me, I sat in the gutter to eat in where? Kigali. Yeah. People think this boy is going mad. This is the craziest thing I've ever done in my entire life. But I'm not scared because. I'm in the cleanest city in Africa. And I believe that I can do exactly the same thing in here. Exactly the same thing. You guys, you know they have actually banned chewing gum. If you go to Rwanda, plastic bags are banned. All this just to improve the cleanliness of the country. Exactly. In Rwanda, you will see refuse dump everywhere. In Singapore. Oh, the similar thing. There are places where you can dump, you know. So it's very clean. It's exactly the same style like the same design 
in Singapore there are rules and regulations governing the cleanliness of the city. And the thing is that people actually abide by the rules. You'll be fine if you disobey the rules and regulations of cleanliness in Singapore. Just like they do in Rwanda. In Rwanda, people come together, the whole citizens yeah. come together and have a specific day that they clean the whole city. But here in Singapore, they actually follow whose work is to come to the streets and clean it up. Also in uh, Kigali, I met somebody who was cleaning the gutter all the time. That is his job. He does it five times in a day. That's awesome. Just like Singapore. Singapore. And here we also found people who are actually cleaning posters. Exactly. Posters by the road. And I even saw people cleaning the pathways. Oh my goodness. This makes the two countries very similar. Let's talk about how safe these two countries are. You've been in Singapore for four days. Would you say Singapore is safe? Extremely safe. How safe is it? At night you walk around with your gadgets, your phone, your, you know, everything, your shopping, your money. No one is going to ask you anything. And I will confidently say that Rwanda is 99.9999% safe. safe. You know, talking about safety in Africa, people keep on saying that Africa is not safe. But don't forget that Africa is a continent, not a country, right? So a country in Africa called Rwanda is 99.999% safe. I placed my bag in the street of Kigali for over 30 minutes and nobody touched my bag. There's a time I forgot my phone in Rwanda, I came back, it was just there. Even in, even in this country, I place this anyhow. You should see where my bag is and where I'm filming this video. Nobody cares. In the hotel where I was sleeping in Rwanda, you guys, they don't lock up. They say no one will come in to steal. In Singapore, I left my bag in my room. My laptop is in my room without locking it and it's still there. These countries are extremely safe. This is how safe both countries are. Before I let you guys go, let's talk about the transportation system in both countries. I mean Singapore and Rwanda. Here in Singapore, buses actually look exactly the same as the ones in Rwanda. In Rwanda, they have something we call tap and go. Tap and go simply means tap with your card, pay and enter the bus and enjoy the free Wi-Fi. But here in Singapore, they have this. This is used for both the metro and the bus. Some buses in Singapore does not have Wi-Fi. But some do. And remember that Rwanda does not have metro. But they have taxi motor. That is what I call the motai. Okay, in, in Rwanda they call it motai. But I believe that the motai is exactly the same speed as for well. <laughs> the, the metro. So so the motor in Singapore, the motor in Rwanda is the word the metro of Singapore, which is what something similar. But before I let you guys go, let me add this one to it. Singap the people are very friendly. Singaporeans are very friendly, especially they, they got to know that I speak Chinese. Oh my god, they were like, Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> when I was in Kigali, people were so friendly to me, like that is the only country that I, I was that I felt like. When I came into this country, like everyone was like, hi, how are you? You know, everyone is smiling they were, they were, at you. They were talking about your hair. Everyone is talking about my hair. They're like, we love your hair, nice hair, you know. When I was in Rwanda, people were just offering to take me around, you guys. Uh, people are just so kind. This is how friendly people living in Kigali and people living in Singapore are. Based on my personal experience, this is what these two countries have in common. If you know anything else, add in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to show us some love. It's your boy, Mr. Maya, and with your girl, Miss Trudy. And we form the true Maya gang. Without you, I remember myself, my name. Forgot about all you tried to change.